Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. So if you use TradingView or other similar tools, you probably know that you have quite a lot of limitations on backtesting results you have there. So you have limitations of number of bars you can um, run your backtesting on. You have limitations on what, what metrics do you want to get from your backtesting results. So you don't have th that much flexibility. And one of the way to avoid these limitations is you can go to other probably uh, general purpose languages and to run and create your backtesting from scratch. And it's actually not so complicated as you can think. So in this video, I will show you how you can do something uh, similar in a language called R. And as you can see, it's not, it's not really uh, so complicated. So let's start. So here I have uh, my R ID open and I have already, I already uh, included some uh, libraries. So tidyverse it's a very useful library. You need it for uh, basic, basic kind of data manipulations. You can do data manipulations much more easily. So TTR is a very useful uh, library for trading. You can find there quite a lot of uh, already pre-built uh, technical indicators. And performance analytics is also a very nice library. You can, uh, when you already have your backtesting results, you can uh, from the box uh, calculate a lot of metrics from uh, this library on your uh, backtesting. And uh, here already I created the code to load um, my data set. So here I'm using um, an Apple uh, share a five minute chart. And if you look at it, you can see that, well, it's, it's very basic. So I have, I have data for like around uh, 14 years from 2007 to today. And basically I have here only open, high, low, close and volume. So that's it. So it's very simple. And so now let's go and try to create our, um, our backtesting basically. So first what I will do is I will just clean uh, my data set a bit. So, um, so first what I need to do is I need to calculate a five minute bar PNL. So how can I do this? I will arrange my data based on uh, daytime. And then I will mutate and mutate will basically create a, a new variable. So I will create a new variable called um, a PNL. I will uh, calculate it as close uh, divided by a previous close at minus one. So this is a basically performance of this bar. And I will add replace an A function call that will just replace all missing values uh, with the zeros, but I just need it only for the first uh, bar, but that's easy to, to, to write it this way. So let's execute it and see how it looks. So as you can see here, I have a PNL column now and I calculate PNL for, for every bar. So it's quite simple so far. Now let's go and compute our strategy. And by, by strategy, I mean, I will just compute um, PNL for for every bar for my strategy. And for example, I will take very simple um, strategy. So basically I will calculate uh, two simple moving averages of length 25 and 100. And when my fast moving average is above a slow moving average, I will go um, long. And if my fast moving average is below my slow moving average, I will go short. So it's super, super basic. So how, how can I do that? So I will uh, copy this stuff. I will create like new data set called strategy. And um, so I will do it the following way. So I will again arrange, arrange by daytime. It's not obviously, but I'm just used to do that to do that to be sure that my data set is arranged properly. So next I also will use mutate function to create new columns, basically new variables. And uh, first I want to create um, variables for my moving averages. So I will use SMI function from SMA function from TTR package. It's super easy to use. You just need to pass close or like source for your moving average and after that just a length of your moving average. And that's it. Let's calculate a slow as well. And here I will use 100. So let's calculate it and see how it looks. So as you can see, we have like first values are not available, but after that 
our moving average is calculated correctly. So it's nice. So next, let's uh, I, I, I will calculate a variable called position. So as I said to you, um, I will be long if my fast moving average is above a slow moving average and uh, vice versa short. So I will use if else function. So and um, if uh, my fast moving average is above slow moving average, I will go sh long. So basically I will put here an one and minus one in other cases. So this, this is basically it. Also, I, I cannot be long for the bar. I I, I know like I, I have no signal at close and I cannot count PNL for this bar into my strategy. So what I need to do, I want I need to lock my all my um, position by one, and this way it will be kind of properly set up. And also I will just replace uh, an ace here with zero. So that's it, it's quite simple. Let's calculate it and see it again. So let's open it and see how it looks. So as you can see, we have now position and we have like zeros at first when we don't have values for our moving average. And after that, we have minus ones and ones. If we have minus one, we are like in short position. If we have one, we are in long position. So it's quite uh, simple and basic. Uh, and the last, let's calculate um, like strategy PNL. So our strategy PNL in our case will be just um, um, our basically our position multiplied by our um, PNL. So here this PNL multiplied by our position, and if we have short, it will reverse our PNL, and this will indicate our like PNL in in a short uh, in a short position. So it's quite simple as that. And this actually indicates that we invest 100% of our money into the strategy, both long and short all the time. If you want to invest like 50%, you can add here like 50% and this will work for you as well. But I will leave 100% for now. Let's execute it again and let's look at it. So we can see with zero for now. And after that we have, here's our um, performance, our PNL. For, for the strategy. And well, you can argue that basically we calculated our strategy. So th this data set basically contain like this uh, strategy PNL um, variable and actually it indicates how money, how much money we earn uh, per every bar. Uh, and uh, it's not so simple to click any metrics here with uh, like five minute bars because it will take quite a lot of time because our data set is huge. We have basically like uh, 260,000 um, rows and it's it's just too big. So what I will do, I will calculate uh, daily PNL and it's actually quite easy to calculate as well. So I will um, pass my strategy into it. I will um, group um, by um, date and I need to uh, create new variable date and I will calculate it and as as date of uh, day time. And after that, I will use a summarize function uh, to calculate a daily PNL. So, and um, okay, we'll just call it PNL. Um, and to calculate daily PNL from uh, five minute PNLs, what we need to do is we need to calculate product of all our PNLs, um, strategy PNLs uh, plus one. And after that, we need to uh, subtract one from that. And this will be our PNL. So let's calculate it and see. So we have new data set and here's our performance for every day from 2007. So that's almost it. I will do another one small thing. So our um, like this performance analytics um, uh, library works mostly with uh, time series objects. And um, here I have just simple, simply like uh, data frames. So I need to create one before I can run some functions from uh, this uh, library. So it, it's also quite easy to do. So I will call this uh, daily XTS and um, I will create an XTS object. So it's quite uh, simple to do that as well. So I will go for daily PNL and um, uh, I need to um, add order by parameter to be equal to um, daily date. 
so let's create it you can check how it looks it will looks basically the same so we have like one variable and as you can see here our um, date is sort of index for this xtx object time series object so that's it basically we we created this xtx object and now we can run various um, functions to understand how our um, how our, our strategy performs so uh, to uh, calculate for example like a net profit for entire uh, period you um, can just use a basic basic stuff just what you need to do is you need to uh, take like pnl add one to it uh, calculate product of of this for for all of that uh, subtract one and then you need to multiply that you need to multiply that by 100 so that's it let's see so we actually our strategy gained like 3500 um, percent and it's 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 not bad so let's see another kind of more advanced uh, statistics what else you can uh, you can calculate so uh, for example you can calculate max drop down by simply passing your um, your your XTX object with, uh, with your PNLs to a max drop down function just call it and you will see here that we have here our max drop down is about 60% so it's about it's quite a risky uh, strategy to trade but uh, it seems to work quite simple what else you can calculate actually in um, performance analytics function you have a library you have quite a lot of uh, functions you can choose from so for example you can uh, run like analyzed returns and um, just basically pass your uh, daily xtx uh, object to it and um, execute and here you will see here some um, prime uh, some um, metrics calculated for you easily so you can see that annualized we in average earn like 31 percent our standard deviation is 38 percent and analyzed sharp is about 0 0.8 so it's not so actually bad so it's pretty probably pretty good strategy um, actually if you go to the table and just press tab you will see here that you have quite a lot of functions you can use um, and without any problems so it's it's really a nice library you should definitely check it out also you you can uh, create various charts um, so charts dot and you can find here various charts i will go with performance uh, summary chart and also just pass your xts object to your uh, function and execute it and you will see here we have um just like nice performance for for our uh, for our strategy you can see that like uh, here on top we have kind of cumulative returns uh here on the bottom below we have like daily returns and uh, on, on, on the bottom here we have like drawdown and here you can see this is what the moment we had like the worst drawdown and actually it was like in 2009 and uh, well everything felt in 2008 2009 so it's a, don't think it's a, it's a so big a deal and um, as you can see it's not so complicated to calculate all this stuff in other languages and in R particularly uh, R has quite a nice bunch of libraries you can work with to create quite um, um simple strategies quite easily if you want something more advanced probably you will have you, you need to code um, more stuff and you need to um be much more attentive to what are you doing actually but in in this simple case you can see it's just very simple i, I spent like 10 minutes coding coding it and uh it's it's really it's really simple so i think that's all for this video thank you for watching see you bye